one of my favorite peptides, and this is my favorite um, bioregulator peptide, is Ovigen. So I talked about bioregulators in great detail in the episode that we did on that, but just a quick reminder. So most of the peptides that are out there are what I call supplemental peptides, meaning they're, uh, they're kind of trying to make up for a lack of your body's not already creating an optimal amount or the amount that you want. Um, in the case of Ovigen, they are these different type of peptides that uh, what they do is, they, and they're very small, usually they're only two, three or four amino acids, very small peptides, um, and they actually go in and work on healing or regenerating an organ or gland so that then it will create enough of its own peptides. So for instance, you know, their idea would be this, this whole system which developed in Russia, while our peptides developed more in the US and Europe, this, this system developed pretty much exclusively in Russia um, and some of the Eastern European countries, the um, bioregulator peptides. Uh, their system was more focused on um, upregulating or um, euphening, rejuvenating that particular organ and gland. So then it would create more of the peptides that you need for itself as well as everything else that that gland does. So I have to be honest with most bioregulator peptides. I I've done a bunch, but the, and the most famous one that a lot of people have heard of is Epitalon, which is that bioregulator peptide for the um, pineal gland. Uh, but I have often had reaction to Epitalon. Uh, kind of feel like little pins and needles feeling just after taking it, which I don't really enjoy. And then when I tried using it intralasally, um, I found that it irritated my sinuses. So for whatever reason, epitalon's never really agreed with me. Most of the other bioregulators I um, enjoy and use sometimes, but honestly can't really tell. But the one that I absolutely can tell with is Ovigen. So one of the great things that happens with Ovigen for me is that I get a really like... Um, a nice kind of sweet taste at the top of my mouth, which um, I know it sounds weird, but like I associate with like good hormonal health. This is a whole thing in the yogic system that depending on what taste you get in your mouth, it kind of is a reflection of what's going on in, you know, your lymphatic system and stuff like that. And also what's going on in your hormonal system. So with the Ovigen, it seems to create a very pleasant effect. Now the Ovigen um, despite the name, you think it supports ovaries, but actually it's um, a liver supporting bioregulator. So it's helping to regenerate the liver. And so liver is one of being something that I've had an issue with around toxicity. Um, and so one of the things that Ovigen does is to help the liver um, obviously regenerate and heal, which the liver has to do more than any other organ. Um, and so, yeah, I just feel a bit stronger. I just feel a bit purer from Ovigen so I really like it um, personally it's not something that I use every day but yeah we'll get into that and so then within that what would you say you know what are the different forms and the ways that you can take it yeah it's a good question so um, in in the US market I've only ever seen it sold as a um, injectable and a lot of the studies that show that those bioregulators are very effective they are based on the injectable but the the Russians and other countries, like Estonia and Kazakhstan and other places that do it, uh, they tend to have a full suite of versions of all these bioregulator, meaning they have injectables, but they also have oral capsules, uh, which they claim, yes, the you're not absorbing that much of it, but they actually give you a fairly big dose. So they claim that you still get quite a, a large amount out of it. Um, they also have transdermal for all of the bioregulators, including Ovigen. Um, and I've seen they even have sublingual. So they have the most, um, like most of these other peptides, either you're getting them prescribed from a doctor or a compounding pharmacy, or you're getting them you know, yourself from some kind of research chemical company that is not very sophisticated. But with the bioregulators, they come from a culture where you can just say what it does without fear of some government agency <laughs> shutting you down. Um, and so because they're quite, you know, just free to share what it does and all the rest of it, they've got quite a good customer base. And I think because they've got quite a good customer base, they've got a full suite of products, you know, like every form that you can imagine 
they've got it. Um, so now having said, I said they, that's all companies in like countries that a lot of people wouldn't trust to order from with a consumable. So that is the downside. And I certainly can't guarantee you that any of them are safe or effective and whatnot. So for simplicity's sake, because I order most of them from US or UK sources, I get that one. Uh, well, actually Canada, I get that from a, a US or Canadian source, the Obergen, um, in the injectable form. That's the only one that I found had that like really, really nice effect on me personally. But if you want to dip your toe into the world of peptides and you don't want to inject yourself, uh, bioregulators, all of them, you know, I have issues with liver, so I love Ovigen, but you know, they've got Cardiogen for the heart, they've got uh, Vesolute for the kidneys, they got, they got every organ, every gland, um, they got something for. And what they teach is, you know, even if you think you're optimal in every other way, the two parts of you that tend to shrivel away are the thymus, which is the immune system, and then the pineal, which is the kind of sleep, wake, and also to some degree uh, um, recovery, rejuvenation system. And so if you want to keep feeling younger and there's nothing wrong with you, you don't have any organs or glands that you think need any improving, then from their point of view, you would still do at least the ones for the pineal and the ones for the immune system. Let me ask you about this, because uh, it's looking at it from the liver standpoint, you know, would this be something then you would take, you know, somebody would look at taking every day, you know, would it be once a week? I mean, like, or let's say, and sorry, throwing a couple of things at you, if, you know, their genetic report came back saying that they had low liver function or the certain a SNPs indicating that there was potentially an issue there, you know, would that be something that they would look at? That's a good question. So their perspective on these peptides, the people who created and make available the bioregulators is pretty much the same that I've been giving <laughs> about all of the peptides in my videos, which is, um, no, sorry, not all the peptides, but uh, you know, a lot of the most famous ones like TB4, like BP157, like Phymosin Alpha 1, like GHK, which is the more the better, it's up to you what you want to pay, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, in the case of the bioregulators, what they say is if you're optimal, you might just do a 10 day course uh, twice a year. Twice a year, every six months, you do a 10 day course. And depending on what it is, right, capsules, injection, whatever, but it's usually a set amount that they'll sell to you. And then you follow it. They would say if you're ill, let's say you got a liver issue, as you just said, what they would say then is, do it for longer rather than doing it for only 10 days you may do it for a month or you may do it for two months you may do it for three months and take two or three times as much per day so then we're really getting to it get quite expensive right there's no upper limit um the only downside of taking more than you need is that you're throwing money down the drain and none of these are cheap um although compared to a lot of you know other treatments they are cheap but if you compare them to supplements none of them are cheap so uh it's really down to you how much you want to put into it okay and then with what about doses uh yeah so pretty much like i said uh if the russian if you're getting it from the russian eastern european source you know they'll tell you this is 10 day supply this is whatever um if you're not doing that if you're getting it from uh the us or canada or uk and you're um getting more the research peptides where they don't tell you how much to take um this one's usually sold in 20 milligrams and um it used to be recommended that you have a lot like that that 20 milligrams might only be a few days worth and then i've seen it actually be changed to say no the correct amount is between a half and one milligram a day uh, one milligram being a good amount, half less if you're trying to save money. So that means in theory, if you don't have an issue with a particular organ or gland, but you just want to boost it, you could get one of these bottles, which is not that much, uh, $50, I guess. And you've basically got a year supply. You do, you'd have like 20 doses of one milligram, 
10 days every six months, right? So then it's not that expensive um, if you look at it that way. It, can, it only gets expensive if you have a real issue with it that you're trying to now resolve and, you know, you're listening to their claims of how to do that. Obviously, I can't make any claims in that regard. So, um, but yeah, if you're doing the the uh, just optimizing path and uh, there's nothing you're trying to resolve, then it'll actually be you know, pretty cheap and you can maybe consider, oh, I'd like to optimize my pancreas, I'd like to optimize my heart. You know, you can get a few, right? If you're just using it in that way. And then what about any kind of safety concerns or anything like that? Uh, that's a good question. Um, there's no safety concerns that I have seen at all with any of the bioregulators. Just like with the um, supplemental peptides I talked about, like TB4, TB500, uh, BPC157, um, they don't seem to create any kind of, uh, they don't seem to have any kind of immune reaction to them uh, because they're already naturally present in the body. Um, so there's no concerns around um, like any kind of, reaction except for the concerns that are always there right you could eat peanuts and die right like you never know how your immune system is going to respond to anything but it's no more likely to respond to that than saline or whatever is my understanding so i use that one with relative confidence that everything is going to be okay yeah no that that, that doesn't it definitely sounds like one because i know when i did my nutrivel i got a thing back saying that um i had something going on with my um, like I had enough glycine, I had enough glutathione, but when he was looking at it, he was like, ah, oh, there's something in the liver detox pathway, so it's not nutrient. So I'm like, hmm, maybe Ovigen would be good <laughs> for me for just a little, you know, small little bout. Yeah, really there's no harm in it. That's the thing with bioregulators. The worst thing you can say about bioregulators is that you are wasting your money. That's, but it's <laughs> not gonna, um, and of course, this is the thing. Peptides like the Western supplemental peptides work so well that um, a lot of them kind of compare them, a lot of people kind of compare them to drugs. And of course, they're treated that way as well um, because they're that effective, right? And, you know, often they, they require doctor's prescription. There's only a few that don't, like GHK, CU. Uh, but most of them require doctor's prescription. So they're more in that drug category. Now, people in the West who are used to Western uh, peptides who then start using bioregulators like, oh, I can't feel anything. Oh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. But if you compare bioregulators to like Western drugs and Western peptides that tend to have quite a quick action, then often you are disappointed. But if you instead compare them to supplements or maybe herbs, then it's probably, you'll be, you have more realistic understanding, right? Like if, uh, there are herbs for every organ and gland, just like there are peptides for every organ and gland in the bioregulator system. And so often, you know, you would expect to wait a while before that had an effect. And so that would be more realistic for the bioregulator class. 